what a weekend bro, right? Yeah, mad. If you haven't seen or heard already, me and Jad just dropped a music video, a song called Rocks. It's out right now. I literally just posted it like three days on my YouTube channel, so go back and watch it right now. It's also on Jad's Spotify. So go run that up as well, man. Add it to your playlist. Before I get into it, right, I want to tell them first. I am not a rapper. I'm not trying to be a rapper. I'm not starting a new career as an artist. I'm literally just done this for fun. Like, it's like a bucket list thing. Every, like, I feel like every guy, and some girls, obviously, like, you look at rappers on stage, like, performing music videos, you're like, oh, that looks sick. No, you get me? 100%. It is a dream. I feel like everyone wants to be a rapper. I know. Everyone wants to be a rapper. Low key. So, I, I just done it for fun, man. I done it for memories. I don't know if you've seen my documentary, which is also on my channel, but I've said that as well. I'm living for the 10 year old Kaz Milligan. You got one life, man. I just want to run it up and do everything I've ever dreamt of. So, stop deep in it. The internet is not that deep. I'm not trying to be a rapper or nothing, man. I'm just having fun. Do you want to address the whole accent shit? Um, yeah, I guess I could talk you don't, about you it. You don't need to, but it's up to you. Man, nah, to be fair, I like talking about it and actually explaining it. Because I feel like I just don't understand why still people think I, I should be having a Scottish accent. Because I just I just didn't grow up here, eh? So like, but obviously I want to rap Scotland. Like, where yeah. else am I supposed to rap? Mm -hmm. Thing is, it's like, it's like a question in itself. Like, all rappers have like, that home place they rap, eh? Yeah. So it's a sticky one for me, just because I don't really have like, one place I'm properly from. Um, obviously my parents are from different places, I moved around a lot, but I've been in Scotland since I was 12 years old, oh. so like, I like, Scotland's my home to me, obviously I don't sound it, but I still think, yeah, there's some people out there who think I, I have a Scottish accent, but mm. I'm like putting on this accent, Yeah. obviously which isn't true, but I feel like, in general, in Scotland, like, you know what the is? biggest thing. I feel like, obviously, the Scottish scene and rap and whatever, right, it's almost looked down upon because mm -hmm. nobody's made it as a Scottish rapper. Yeah, literally. Therefore, all the Scottish rappers are so proud to put on their accent and try to blow like that. Mm -hmm. But the people, some people put on a London accent from Scotland when they've got a Scottish accent mm -hmm. trying to blow up. Yeah, and I feel yeah. like people think that for you, but really, mm -hmm. you're just not from this country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is a huge controversy in the scene. It's one of the most talked about topics, like the Scottish artists putting on the London accents. Obviously, a lot of people who are authentically Scottish and rapping mm -hmm. in the Scottish accent absolutely hate them, especially because the market is London. So when, when yeah. these London, these boys who are faking their accents do actually better, that I can definitely see why people would get angry about that. Mm -hmm. And I used to tell every artist who'd come to my studio, use your own accent, like th that's bullshit the whole, oh, you can't have a Scottish accent and rap it. Your music sounds good, it sounds good. But then Triple O1s, obviously, they fucking fake. They, they obviously, which are big up Triple O1s, I love their music, but mm -hmm. they obviously put on an accent and they blew, they like blew, to be fair. They're the closest yeah. to blowing. So then after they did that, I was like, you know what? Do what you want, hey, if your music's good, your music's good, like, uh -huh. whatever. Fair but enough, but enough. I try to stay like, yeah, myself anyway. I mean, when I first started rapping, it came out about American, eh? So it yeah. still sounds a bit American-y, which is really annoying to me. I wish it sounded like more British, but Bro, try it. I know what you mean with accents, mm -hmm. man. I'm like, I blew up. Because of the accent, I yeah. was the most spoken about individual in Scotland because of my accent. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so no, even, even the comments on the YouTube comments, like when we dropped the music video, everybody's, oh, that accent, you can't even rap cars with that accent. Mm -hmm. Bro, I, I, I fought legit, mm -hmm. that's the hardest song to come out of Scotland. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me I'm and you. You legit, know, bro. bro, legit. Which part do you prefer? The first part or the second part? First part. First part, yeah. Man. Put in the comments, the music video, well, the song, do you prefer the first half or the second half? Because we combine two songs, so, yeah, yeah. like, a minute in, the beat switches, the style switches, our outfit switches, and it goes to, like, drill. So, like, the first bit, what's that? The Melodic trap, I'd say. Kind right. Of, it's a trap beat, anyway. Mm. And then it switches to drill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talk about my Rolex a few times in the song. I never went home to get my Rolex when I shot the video. So I'm wearing the castle. A lot of people are like, oh, he's talking about a Rolex, he's no good one, he's wearing the castle. Go back to my videos, go back to my GQ interview, 10 things Kaz Milligan can't live without. You'll see my Rolex, I'm not faking it. Man, that's that's where you bought some of the Rolex as well. I uh, gifted a Rolex. Gifted a Rolex, yeah. Podcast. No, I remember that day, you, you thought how we did the video, you clocked it, you were like, mm. why the fuck do I have my Rolex right now? I know. We can't go back to Fife right now. I know, but let's tell them the story about uh, actually recording the song. Mm -hmm. So, we made the original like months, like half a year ago or something. Yeah, back in, see the second half of the song? That's a whole song, like we only put half of it in with this actual song, right? 
So that was originally called AMG. Last July, we recorded that in Jad's old studio because I was shopping for a new car and I was going to get an AMG. So I went back to Jad and I was like, bro, I'm going to get an AMG. Let's make a song about an AMG. And Every bar was like about like driving because we were picturing the video yeah. when we were making it. Yeah, exactly. So then, I, I, I don't know, I liked it. It was hard, but I was like, I've not even got an AMG yet. Like, do I really want to re release this? Kat kept on saying this to me, right? Every time we'd come to the studio, I'd be like, let's do a melodic tune. And because I know he loves the melodic stuff. Yeah. And he was just like, nah, I can't, but can he sing, lad? I can't he sing, bro. <laughs> and I was like, nah, 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 trust me, like, everyone, like, you teach, everyone can sing. So then, um, yeah, and then that was obviously his first, like, time doing melodic. That's actually mad. That's your first time ever doing melodic. Well, using auto tune. That's crazy, actually. And by the way, fun fact see the whole of rocks. Obviously, you only heard half of Rocks because it was originally a full song, but we put two songs combined. Rocks was freestyled. Mm -hmm. Me and Jad freestyled the whole song. Mm -hmm. I'm not even a rapper, bro, but I am freestyling better songs than any other Scottish accent, and I stand by that. I stand by that, man. So, what do you guys think of the eating around got pee with my tooth bar? That is the most talked about bar. So, I finish my bit, and then it goes to Jad, and he goes, eating a rock got a pee with my tooth. <laughs> That is the most spoke about bar. Can we yeah. please tell them the yeah, truth yeah. behind that bar? Yeah, yeah, of course. Give me. Of course. That was my bar, bro. <laughs> I gave Jad that bar. Bro, you gotta imagine we're sitting there, right, with the mic in between us. So we're like giving up both of us information. Yeah. We're like feeding each other, like, oh, should we do this part? Should we do that part? Oh, maybe this part. What about this part? So like, which is sick though. That's what makes music so fun, eh? Because yeah. it's like both both you making the song. So there's obviously a few bars which I've given Kaz and yeah. loads of bars which he's given me and stuff. But like, yeah, that was 100% his bar. <laughs> The sickest bar of the whole song. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the thing. If you said that bar, oh my god, would it have blown? Do you think? Yeah, if you if you said that bar and then we market it the same way we're going to market like eating around. If you said that bar, the internet would have gone crazy. Bro, really legit, man. Right, let's uh, tell them about filming. Rocks R O X. It's a jewelry shop, like a diamond shop in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. And I had just went into Rocks um, when I first started dating Gigi. Mm -hmm. I went in, I was looking at like diamond bracelets and they were like 3k, 4k, like 5 grand, 12 grand necklaces and I'm like, this shop is so sick and I just got inspired looking at the diamonds and stuff like that. The next day, I came to Jad's studio, I was like, Jad, I've just been in that rocks place, the diamonds are sick, like I'm thinking about getting a bracelet. I was like, put a beat on and let's make a song about diamonds and being in rocks. So that's mm. the first, when I first come in, I go, Step into rocks, yeah. Mm. This guy's about. So I'm talking about stepping into rocks, like the shop, R O X. But when it came to filming the video shoot, I was like, look, we could maybe film in there, looking at the diamonds, blah blah. Rocks is a massive company which we appreciate, we respect the company. It's inspiring, motivational, unreal. But due to like branding and stuff like that, they weren't going to allow us to film the music video in there, which is totally understandable. They did say, give them their due, they did say, look, if you email us, we can maybe speak to this person, that yeah, person, yeah, yeah. we'll be able to shut the shop down for you, film, blah, blah, blah. But I had already hired Begsy, big up Begsy, he's a videographer and mm. the editor of the music video and all my vlogs, he's no Begsy. We had him for the day, I was like, look, we can't wait any longer, we need to film this whole video today. Like, oh, unfortunately, I was like, cool, whatever, cool, that's sound. So at duty branding, we couldn't film in rocks. So I was like, look, I don't know what I risk using their branding at all. Mm -hmm. So we changed the name from ROX, the song was meant to originally be called Rooks. We changed it from ROX to ROCKS. But yeah, success though, we did bits on the first day. So like, by the time 24 hours come, I got like 11, 12k. Mm -hmm. Which by the way, is the most views I've ever got. Now, I'm keeping this humble, this video. I'm not a big YouTuber, man. Everybody, please subscribe. Join this journey in my YouTube channel. I'm going to be posting three times a week, the whole month of March. Mostly with Gigi, my girlfriend, but... Aye, man. That's a solid bro, grind. I love Three you. videos a week. Bro, it's gonna be hard, yeah, trust. Hard. By the way, I'm not saying filming videos is hard work or whatever. I'm just saying alongside running my business, mm -hmm. Gigi being full-time employment, mm -hmm. Having a life and film it, like, that's still a graph, to be honest. No, that is a graph, um, bro. Editing videos and stuff, yeah. Uh, exactly. Oh. Also, there was one comment, right, that stuck out to us. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of hate. By the way, haters, you had a few day. Twitter had a few day. You all had fun. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. I get it. I understand. But there was one comment. The two most attention-seeking guys in Edinburgh. Pretty much Scotland, they were saying, right? We're trying to make it in this life. We're having fun. What's one thing you love? Music. Yeah. Rap. Yeah, yeah. What do you do full time? Music. Yeah. Rap. Yeah. I love building business. I love being on social media. I love creating content. Therefore, I do that all 
full time. Like, do you need attention to then build our businesses? Mm. Yes. Mm. Therefore, we are the biggest attention seekers in the hey, country. Hey, 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 but it's right. no, no in a negative way though. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. in a positive way. Like, Wait, wait, that's like the best way to put it ever. Yes, Because we're, 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 we are attention seekers. Exactly. That's, that's we, what our job is, exactly. like, to get as much clout as possible. Exactly. Even if it's like in a stupid way or something. Exactly. Yeah, we're still getting people talking. And that's well. how I was the biggest, most clouted person in the country. Because I am attention seeker in a positive light. Like, that attention seek. there's negative attention seekers and there's good attention seekers. Mm -hmm. Our attention that we're trying to seek is to motivate people, inspire people, give them business. For example, Jad's got the studio. Every single, no, every majority of artists in Scotland hit up Jad, can I get studio time, blah, blah, blah. That's given them opportunity. The attention that we are trying to seek is in a positive way for us to build business, get to the point where we've got more of an audience for us to then motivate them, inspire them, show them that you can fucking do whatever you want in this life, man. Mm -hmm. So are we the biggest attention seeking seekers in the country no we're the biggest attention seekers in the world <laughs> <laughs> but listen genius aye man the internet is know that deep that's the other thing right mm -hmm. people are quick to say oh you're taking this too serious user blah 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 but as soon as we step back and have fun mm -hmm. they're then oh your attention blah 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 mm -hmm. it's like one minute the haters decide mm. when it's too deep. Mm. Next mm. minute it's no deep enough. Mm. It's like we could never win. Nah, you can't win. But you're not never. doing something right if you're not getting flooded with hate. The more Facts. hate, the better you're doing, honestly. Mm. Yeah, I see people who with millions of followers and they get flooded with hate. Bro, Drake, like you always say. Drake, I always say that to you. The biggest rapper in the world currently, also the most hated rapper mm. in the world currently, mm. it speaks for itself. Yeah. Taylor Swift, mm -hmm. the richest most streamed artist, female artist in the world, also the most hated female artist in the world. Mm -hmm. Like, you need yeah, hate to blow up. Yeah, yeah. So like, that's what I say when people are trying to get into like content creation and shit, like, if you're not ready for the hate, then you come for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not saying, oh, just then you try it. Of course try it, like, you need to mend, is that the right word? You need to like adapt yeah, 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 to the yeah, hate. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's no easy to start with. Yeah, you understand? Nah, like, nah, it's not, yeah. You never found it. You're like, because nah. I was, yeah, I was asking you advice as well because I could not take it at first. I, but I, then I, I realized remember. like you cannot release stuff without getting hate. No, exactly. Right? I it remember. Like, I didn't mind you. I hope you don't mind me saying this, no, right? No. But I remember you saying like you used to delete hate comments yeah. on your TikTok, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I used to cloak it, and I'm like, Jad, yeah. you need them, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, stop deleting them. I'm like, feet. And more, yeah, yeah, like yeah. get the haters to comment more. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just out my a marketing strategy. Let's be real. That's that's the thing with the chocolate thing. Like, it's genius because like you, I don't know what you did, but you just made sure that they kept saying it. Yeah, and that every exactly. video they spam it out. That's what I'm saying. Boom, blows just, up. Like, yeah, every video as, blows up. As soon as you have like a hang sort of almost catch, known yeah, as a yeah, trend yeah, yeah. and a hating way, mm -hmm. you need to feed it even more. Yeah, yeah So it yeah. blows up because, yeah, yeah. like. I've said this before, the whole chocolate shit, right? I could have ignored that and it could have mm. just died within a month. It would have just died, eh? It would have right? just died. I thought, this could be my one opportunity to blow up. Mm -hmm. So I run with it. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do? Ignore that and hope for a better opportunity? Yeah, yeah. Fuck that, I'm yeah, not waiting yeah, for yeah, nothing, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm on everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you get me? So, mm -hmm. listen, if there's any artists out there, you got any advice for any artists? I say like, oh my God, be a bit more patient and prioritize your craft. Like that's mm. the thing. Cause like there's, there's so many doubts you will have all over the place. This is just for artists, right? There's so many doubts you'll have. Like there's like about a million doubts I can think off the top of my head, but like nothing matters if you get your music like 10 out of 10. Obviously my music is nowhere near that, but like if you keep grafting and your music just gets better, everything else comes to you, eh? So be a bit patient and prioritize your craft over everything else. Just like mm. make sure you write new songs every single day and, mm. and the, be the hardest working person you know. That's basically it. But be the hardest working person you know and then, then you win. No, you so, yeah. yeah. Right, everybody, subscribe. Go back, watch a music video. Jump on Jad's Spotify, Follow. stream the video, stream all Jad's music. Yeah, I got the Nothing To Say remix coming out, so that's like a bunch of big artists in Scotland. Um, I won't list them all because there's so many. And then I've got um, Jad The Entertainer coming out soon as well. I've also got a bunch of shows coming up. But follow my Spotify, follow me, and just, yeah, just, just stay tuned for the journey, man. Oh, and by the way, if the music video gets 100,000 views, we'll do another song. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason I'm coming back. I'm a one and done. Mm -hmm. So if you want me back and Jad, we'll do another song. 100k views in the music video, and uh, I'll come back. Let's go. Do you want to tell them about your feature with um, Drake or should we leave it? 
I'll leave it for just a minute. Bye!